Hi students, in this video we are going to see a question from a statistics lesson which uh, consists three marks. First question, the mode of the following data is 67, find the missing frequency x. So we need to find the x value, they have given us the mode value as 67. So let's find the mode value for the given table. The basic thing for finding the mode, the highest frequency should be taken as a modal class but here it is not possible because one of the frequencies missed here so we cannot say that which is the highest frequency in this table. So what we should do is mode value is given as 67 right. So the 67 will come in between which two interval we have to see in the class interval. In this class interval 67 will lies between 60 and 70. So we have to take this as our modal class. So this is a modal class we have to take. So if this is a modal class then 15 will be taken as F1. Before number will be taken as F0 and the after number will be taken as F2. And the modal class value the 60 will be taken as a lower limit L. Now after taking everything let us apply the formula now. Mode is equal to modes equal to L plus here F1 minus F0 by 2 times F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. This is your formula. Now let us apply the value from the table. Now mode value is already given as 67. So 67 is equal to L value 60 that is a lower limit of the modal class. So take the 60 here plus F1 value 15 minus F0 value X divided by 2 times F1 so 2 times 15 minus F0 is X again F2 is 12 in this table so this is 12 multiple by H is nothing but the size here so 80 to 90 70 to 80 the class size is 10 here so we have to take the 10 the interval gap should be taken as H mark. Now the plus 60 we have to bring it to this side so that it will become minus 67 minus 60 is equal to this one 15 minus x by 2 into 15 will be 30 minus x minus 12 and overall this is multiple by 10. Now 67 minus 60 will give you 7 which is equal to 15 minus x multiple by 10 here. And the denominator is 30 minus 12 will give you 18 minus x. Now the denominator 18 minus x should be taken to other side. Now we can write 7 into 18 minus x which is equal to 15 minus x into 10. Now we have to multiply the 7 and 10 inside. So 7 into 8, 56, 6 balance 5. So 1, 126 minus 7 into x 7x and here 15 into 10 will be 150 and 10 into x will be 10x. So let's bring all the x together and numbers together. So minus 7x is already this side. Now the plus 10x we are bringing to other side it will become plus 10x. Now this side we have 150. Now this plus 126 we are taking to other side that will become minus 126. Now minus 7x plus 10x it will be 3x. So 1 is plus 1 is minus and we have to subtract that should be given with a big number symbol. So plus 3x equal to 150 minus 126. So this will be 4 and 2, 24. So 24. So x is equal to multiplication 3 if you take it to other side it will become division. So 24 by 3. So we can cancel by 3 table. 1 sir, 8 sir. So we can say that x is equal to 8. That is our question. Missing frequency, we need to find the x value. x is 8 here. Uh, we will see the next question. The arithmetic mean of 1, 2, 3 and so on up to n is dash. So the problem can be asked in the 2 mark also. See here, arithmetic mean is nothing but mean only. So the basic formula of mean is nothing but sum of all the observation divided by total number of observation that is a basic formula sum of observations by total number of observation that is a basic formula see here we have the observation 1 2 3 so on up to n so sum of the observation it will be 
1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to n and divided by total number of observation there are n terms are available so we have to take the n here. Now the numerators look like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on up to n that is nothing but sum of natural numbers. Sum of n natural numbers what is your formula? Sum of n natural numbers means that will be n into n plus 1 by 2. If this is a natural number means this is a formula. Now in the numerator will be taken as n into n plus 1 by 2 and already denominator we have one n that also will be taken together. So this n and this n will get cancelled. So your answer is n plus 1 by 2. So the C option is a correct option. Next one. Next question. The observation which repeats maximum number of times is calculated by what? What that is a question. So which is repeated more times that is called mode. Mode is your correct answer. And the next question. Find the mean of first 5 prime number. So we have to take first 5 prime number. We have to find the mean for that. So the first 5 prime numbers are 2 is a prime number, 1 is neither prime nor composite, it is not a prime number, not a composite number, we should not take 1. So 2 is a prime, 3 is a prime, 4 is not a prime number because 4 will come under 2 table. Now 5 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number, 8 and 9, 10 and all is not a prime number that will come under some other tables. So the next is 11 is the prime number. Now we need to find the mean, mean is nothing but we have to add them sum of all the observations by total number of observation is your formula. So this is a formula. Now we have to add them divided by total number of observation is 5. Now 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17, 17 plus 11 will be 28. So 28 by 5 we are getting. So the answer is given in decimal also. So let's divide. 28 by 5, 5 5s are 25, balance 3, make a point, take a 0, 5 6 are 30. So, 0, 5.6 is the correct answer that is given in the first option. So, 2 2 mark question together can be asked in the, 2 1 mark question together can be asked in the 2 mark questions. So, while you are practicing, practice the 1 mark questions also that will help you in the examination. If you find the video is useful, Please share with your friends also subscribe our channel for more videos.